Colleen? Okay, okay, Colleen. Okay, Colleen it is. Crazy enough, do you guys want to call Colleen? Okay. This is a song I wrote for a girl that I met in uh, Chicago, or I met her in Chicago, but she was from New York. And what was crazy about this is, I, again, it was like the Jenny song that I wrote earlier. I needed a girl's name and I met this girl and she was kind of cute and I thought, well, if I put her name in a song, like maybe there'll be a chance that we could have a long distance relationship or something because she lived in Chicago. Are so, you really going to call her? Why not? It's the Toronto release. I have her number. I have her number. Now, this is why I want to call her though, is I wanted to make a confession to her. Because I wasn't really thinking about this, I was a young songwriter back in 2004. And um, what happened was, you see, Colleen and I had this thing for a bit where we were like flirting back and forth, and then I put her name in the song. And it was like a five minute interaction we had, that flirting thing, and then the song happened. So I thought, okay, whatever, I didn't even think about it, recorded it, and then I realized that the lyrics to this song were kind of insulting to a girl because I talk about how she has like swollen knees and a pointed nose and um, it just wasn't right. So tonight, officially here, on the phone, we're going to make a public apology to Colleen and play her this song live. Is this alright? So, let's see if she's going to answer. Speakerphone! What's that? Long distance. Oh, long distance. Hang on. How do we do this now? This is definitely off the cuff. Just One? Okay, just so, this is the new iPhone, right? So I don't know how to do this totally, but it should work. Hang on. Should it? What's that? If you just keep, if you're just patient, it'll do it for you. Oh, thank you. This is so Good to know. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Here we go. Oh, boy. This is a moment of truth here. Can you hear this? I hope she picks up. Yeah, her boy. She having a night out with her boyfriend. Oh man, it's, like, it's not sounding good. What should we do? Screening your. Okay, we're gonna leave her a message. All right. Moment of the truth. Hi, you've reached Colleen. Available. Take your call right now. That's Colleen. Leave a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. That's awesome. Leave the tone. Please record your message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Colleen! Hey, it's Keith. Um, I'm sitting here with some friends. We're at the official Keith and Renee CD release in Toronto. Say hello, everybody. Colleen! <laughs> Live in Toronto, I wanted to make a public apology over the phone to you. This was from a couple albums ago. But tonight we're about to play a song for you live here at the Cameron House in Toronto. And uh, I just wanted to apologize and say that I, you don't have a pointed nose. You don't have swollen knees. And I still love you. But just in a friendly kind of way. Not like, what's that? I still love you as a friend. Is that, does that make sense, Colleen? So Colleen, without further ado, this is a song for you. This is a song entitled with the most beautiful name in the world, minus the swollen knees and pointed nose. This is a song called Colleen. Holy earth, she knows it. Are you leaving it? So, Got in from New York State, waiting on a dinner plate and taking Every piece you could for what it's worth, a worn out sneakers and ripped up souls. Tired eyes and pointed nose, I didn't mean it. And all the things are seeping on the screen. Come on. Come Thank you. 
This is where the crowd makes a little noise for Colleen. Sweet. 